I know you're seeing the purple, which is interesting. Again, they're selling items, right? Yeah. They're selling items. You may not stage with purple. Um, however, you may have an eccentric client on a design project that loves purple. They want the accents. But here in the showroom, this is, of course, design showroom at Nebraska Furniture Mart. We have the yeah. luxury of being here in Dallas yes. and, and having this in our backyard. Yeah. What are you seeing? What What are you drawn to when you look at space like this? Yeah, so from my perspective, what I notice is, is a intense charcoal, rich browns. We're going into that more masculine feel, even with the light and bright, there's a trend toward, I'm seeing it in the artwork, yes. I'm seeing it in the floor coverings. And then even on, on the new chair and couch systems that we saw in International Builder Show, International Builder Show, they are emphasizing that natural wood. Yes. They're bringing that in, even, even into the more elevated mm -hmm. pieces. It's less about rustic. I think it's more timeless, which I'm seeing in this room. For example, you know, that piece right there, it's a very clean. Sure. It's, it's that got that modern line. However, it's also a natural wood tone. And even on this centerpiece, they have the open seams at the corner. Right. So you see from a hand-built feel, it still is a very modern, very elegant piece. This is. This is a yeah. timeless piece. What I also love about it is, say we were staging with this piece. Yes, it's lighter, um, but also it can go into a large space. It fills. So we're seeing people that actually do two coffee tables together side by side. Well, this would alleviate that. Okay. It's a great piece that allows us to just continue to um, be transitional. You can dress this up, you can dress it down. And it can be in a, a wonderful main living space, but hey, we could also use this in a game space um, that is a large a larger area. Yeah, so, so it's built for durability, kids, for sure. family, even probably pets, it's built for that. The other thing that I also noticed, Jana, is, is to your point, it has an elegant feel, but as it also has a masculine presence Absolutely. without being overbearing. So Absolutely. is that something that, you know, you would be prone to use and say, hey, let's take this and let's use this as a centerpiece and build around it? Well, you can see that even in this space, there's a lot of dark furniture. Yes, so even on the, they, they, I would say we need to lighten this up. Okay. And so if you're having a dark piece that is anchoring the space, let's lighten and brighten and with, you know, some some nicer pieces that are going to be a little bit of that lighter contrast to it. Okay. Your area rug, your artwork is going to help too, but having a dark piece of furniture with with dark uh, sitting space may not be something that you you want. Now, if if this is a cool intimate zone, you know, again, going down to a, a, an office or right. something that is is more masculine, those darker pieces are going to help that pull that out. But the lighter is going to brighten it up. Gotcha. So you can imagine this piece with an area rug around here. I mean, we still have in this zone a little bit of the same. Yeah. But this is a great, great piece here. Um, and that's going to be able to just also transition um, from room to room. Yeah. And I love, I actually like this feel because in contrast to what you were describing with darker and darker, we have a centerpiece that's dark, but yes. it's built around, again, a light and air lift. You've yes. got the, I don't know if that's a taupe. Is that a taupe color, an off-white? No, I mean, it's a lighter off-white color okay. for sure. And I think you can find the taupe. But what's so cool about this rug is it blends everything it blends, together. It pulls everything together. You know, so your, your artwork, your area rugs are in a blend. And um, it's going to allow for the space to change out too. So you get a nice staple piece you know, a couple of core pieces that are going to be your pricier pieces, then you change out area rugs, you change out the accents. Obviously, this piece here is going to be better suited for, uh, let's say, a dresser or a console table that's maybe against a wall, not necessarily. In a family room. In a family room, on a coffee table, yeah. but they're selling, they're yeah. selling, right? Yeah. So watching your height of items as well, okay. you can imagine, you You've probably been in the situation where you're at a dining table and the, you know, the 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 main core uh, decor is just you can't even see, you the, can't other see the other person. So you got to think so about you're, that. You're moving stuff out of the yes, way. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So was, love it. Yeah. Lower pieces on your coffee table, um, and then of course on any any place that you're having conversation across the room is going to be key. 
lighting always great you know if you check out the lighting which light would you say uh do you love uh you know here as well as it's a lot right a, uh, throughout this space there's yeah. a lot that we have um to choose from and i love that they are giving us some of these showcase lighting is like art it's yeah. like jewelry right i was noticing that's like tree branches it is it yeah. is it has a theme yes, it has a yeah. theme yeah. so i know we in our high-rise apartment in dallas you know putting a piece that is a statement piece just really lightens a room and it, it can just give it can be a conversation piece but it also uh, allows people to go up it draws that eye up and it brings light and bright and airy into space speaking of lighting one of the factors that always comes into play whether it's new or old is lighting from the top down mm. i noticed that like even here one of the attributes of the fixtures is they become a statement piece For because sure. they're not the main source of light right we have a well-lit room where the fixtures themselves because it's a recessed or a canned lighting system your eye doesn't notice that piece it actually is drawn to that and so then that becomes actually a statement piece like you were saying versus this is the light source for the entire room right and then you have that shadow feel where you're you're always like yes. looking like what 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 is wrong with this room right but when you light the room fully then it allows you to accent your pieces without depending on them to light the room and so it, from your construction background yes, you're really seeing that accent lighting the recess lighting it's almost like lighting the light the it's primary exactly. lighting that space fully almost a 360 light 360 light because it's because one thing is it puts you at rest because right. you're not straining you're not trying to see so you're relaxed and you can actually take in the different elements of the room even yes. like we we're talking about all the way from the floor coverings to the fixture itself so now i can enjoy my mm -hmm. centerpiece right. my eyes my brain my body isn't fighting you know what's going on in this room there's not that contrast that push and pull and I noticed that because in construction, that culture doesn't necessarily think that way. Yes. Right? And so that's one of those things about being in the design, the creative, the staging space. We're able to say, hey, wait, even if this is about practicality, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it really is about beauty. Yes. And so I, and, I, and full scope, and right? Full, scope. full scale yes, of the room. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's check out the area in here. Again, this is their design space it allows them to not only sell items but show different styles and we have design companies we have staging companies that are trying to select pieces that will you know highlight space right right that's right. first and right. foremost yep. but even at a staging concept we've got to think about pieces that are going to be durable that are going to transition home to home. So this might be a piece that I'd stay away from. Right. Um, why would, can you imagine, can yeah. you imagine 20 homes that this goes through? Yeah. <laughs> so you are, I love that you're looking at the seams. Yep. Uh, you're looking at color. You're and even, even the angle, Jana, the is, angle. It, it sets up where it's going to get bumped. It's going to sure. get brushed. It's going to get hit. And I'm like, okay, is can, this light, you know? Yeah. Um, and it goes into these legs, these pencil legs, how easily are they going to break? Can they puncture through something in the truck, right? So we're just looking at at all types. So it's not just like, do I love this piece? Right, right. When it comes to staging. Okay. Do, is it going to be a piece that's durable, yep. sustainable, okay. and can literally do 20 turns, 20 different properties, and can stay in our inventory literally a good three to four years? Wow, I so, wouldn't have thought about that. Uh -huh. That's a really great point. So when we're at market, yeah. that's what we need to not look at first layer. First okay. layer, do I love it? Right. Is it second layer is at the right price point? Right. Okay. Third layer is is this going to be a sustainable product? Okay. Cuz I might need to go with something that is a little bit more, you know, easy um like a a, a darker chair, okay. you know. Okay. And can we change out the the um Maybe we paint the legs when we need to, right? Is it going to be something that we can uh, keep in inventory? Um, you know, if something goes wrong, a leg gets messed up, we can at least paint it a different color 
if it makes sense. If it makes sense. Dollars and cents. Dollars and cents. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So on that side, like practically speaking, when you're buying a piece, you're looking for those three layers, mm -hmm. but then you're also taking into account if I have to repair it, if we have to modify it, we can also, that's it's a easy. fourth layer it's easy that should be sure. taken into consideration. Okay. And then let's go fifth layer. Yeah. Maybe we want to sell this. Right. Is this going to be a piece that someone would could purchase? Maybe it has a little bit of a, a dent or a ding, but it's still, but it's still valuable. Okay. It's unique, right? Yes, okay. It's not something they can go find at their big box store. Wow. I love that. And as a, as a man, that's really good information because obviously we're attracted to practicality. We're like, that's brilliant. Right. Yes, that makes sense. So if I'm in that space and I'm helping in that space, that's a layer of understanding that goes, okay, it's it, that is important. For sure. It isn't just all about the glitz and the glam. Right. There is a problem. That is the, 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 I guess you could say, a seasoned staging company okay. versus maybe the newbie that's okay. just coming in. Okay. And when you look at glass like this, yeah, you know, glass stagers love. Do they? Why? Because it lets the eye go through the okay. space it actually doesn't you you can imagine this being a yeah. heavy piece yeah you and lose it's going, all of the interest we lose it so that's the pro of okay. the glass okay. eye moves through it okay. light moves through it the con yeah it's breakable. It's probably what you are thinking yeah. first uh -huh. it's breakable it's scratchable it's going to be something that's going to be difficult like and how does this move up can right. we can we break this down versus this being one piece right i mean this just is not a practical piece for staging just because of all of those elements right and it's heavy it's heavy no one wants to lift this 20 times <laughs> that's, that's what i'm looking i'm like and turn it on its edge yep. look at the base yep. so as a staging company we're going to also look at the base of the table you know are we working with four legs versus a round base how does this um you know deconstruct um, and 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 de disassemble right. versus the assembly process. Right. So you're thinking at a new layer when it comes to staging. Wow, wow! Right? I would have never thought that, but that makes so much sense. Yes, it's it's actually a very industrious way to buy furniture. Right, right, because you're protecting your investment. Exactly. Okay. Because that's how companies, staging companies, are going to make profit okay. at the end of the day. How long can we keep that inventory in cycle? Okay. That is so so huge. Okay. I noticed, Jana. We were talking about white Look, we and white. Have fingerprints. Look, we already have fingerprints. Already. And I'm wondering, and a scratch how did we get a mark on exactly. the inside of a white Who chair? Knows? When the, like you're here's like, the thing, people will sit when they come purchase a property. Right. They're going to sit down with their realtor. Well, I like that these turns. They do, yeah. But they're going to sit at the table. They may sign an agreement. That, you know. Okay. So who knows what happens if someone sits down and that chair breaks? breaks. I've so seen we're that looking happen. at that. So staging companies love that something that's light, but then also is it going to be durable? Right. It's right. going to hold weight okay. because we cannot assume that no one's going to sit on the furniture it's going to happen kids you know the family is coming to tour the space they're running all over the home we've got to look at that